Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. He means hello, hello, hello. No, we don't. Hello, hello. That French <laughs> French comedy program. Oh, so you mean hello, 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 hello. yeah. Well, whatever. Well, yeah. Or oh, bonjour, bonjour. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We are just doing a short Q and A, aren't we? More questions of people. Yeah, because we had some more questions, only a few, so we thought we'd get through them. Yeah. But we wanted to say as well, because it's Good Friday today, hope everybody has a really nice weekend if you're away in your van. We're not, are we? No. There's going to be too many people around for us, so we opted to stay on the drive, don't we? Safer. <laughs> yeah. Less people here in a cul-de-sac than out on the road. And the first thing I wanted to say, because I've got to read my own handwriting, is congratulations to Trevor and Pat Life on the Run. They've got to a thousand subscribers, ain't they? They're doing well, they are. Yeah, man, they're rocketing. I don't know what's going she on. She go past her stable. <laughs> yeah, it's gone bloody mad. Ain't it? Yeah, good on them, I say. Yeah. Right, wanted to say hello as well to Derek Powell in Ireland. Because he's 78. And he asked if he was our oldest subscriber, but he isn't, I'm mm. afraid. And he commented, and he doesn't normally comment because he's not very good with technology, he said. So, appreciate your commenting. And then as well, wanted to thank Peter Marshall. He lives in Norfolk and he offered to let us park on his drive if we ever go to Norfolk, didn't he? We will one day. And he even went out and measured the drive to see if it fit on there. <laughs> and then come back and said that we would. So, we might see you one day. And we? Because we do want to go to Norfolk, oh, I don't do. we? Yes. But it's been a long time since we've been yeah, up that end. Yeah, park-ups just don't look great, right, though. Do they? No. No, apparently they're not keen on my trimers, so... Silvertop my trimers. What is our bed layout? French bed. Yeah. French double bed. Yeah. Shoved in the corner. So that's one of them with a the cutty bit out at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Even though sometimes I think we should have had two singles. Probably better, but we get some sleep then, wouldn't we? Right, again, we're battered for snoring. Yeah, because he's always snoring, it does more bloody eddy. Snores all clicky throats. Yeah, so she yeah. wakes me up with a fud. I don't actually. I try and ignore it for a bit, but then I can just feel myself getting irritated and then I have to shake you. Yeah. So we'll go like that and then you go. <laughs> and then. <laughs> it's really annoying. It does my head in, man. Right. My husky and me. How much do you make on YouTube and can you live on what you earn? Wow, that's easy. Don't make a lot and no, you can't live on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, average is probably 50, 60 quid a month. I will put a screenshot in, but I just had a look. I think the best month was February and that was like 80 something pound. Yeah, that's a one off. Um, yeah, but like last month, you have to get £60 to get paid. And if you don't, it rolls over to the next month until you make £60. And last month was like 56 quid, so never even got a payment. No. So definitely can't live on it. It is just a bit of pocket yeah. money, in it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Some people can. There is people out there who do make a lot oh, of money. Oh, yeah, of course you can. But no, we no. ain't one of them. No, you've got to be getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views. Yeah. Or having adverts in the middle, which we don't like to do. Or having adverts at the end. But it's not why we did it, which is why there's only ever adverts at yeah. the beginning. Adverts at the end, when they come up, nothing to do with us, are no. they? No. No, that's just YouTube doing that anyway, because they do now. They shove them on everything. So, yeah, don't earn a fat lot. Definitely can't live off it. Nope. David Bowie, what was your first ever car slash vehicle? I think it means motorised vehicle. My first ever vehicle was a Vespa scooter. PX150 in black. Lovely. I was I loved it, loved it a bit. And what was your first ever car? It was a Mark 1 Golf GTI 1600. Yeah. And my first ever car was a Rover Metro GTI J Reg. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. J Wok. Yeah. 
and it was my sister's car and I absolutely loved it. It was good, weren't it? It was, it was a fast yeah, little pocket the rocket. Gasket went. It still kept going, even yeah, the head was knackered, it still yeah, kept going good. Yeah. Well, you've done that anyway, did not you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I had when I met you, Dana? You did. My little Metro. Loved it. My favourite car that I've ever, ever had. My favourite. What do you call Carl Uggs? This is David Barry again. And does he have any nicknames for you? Go on, you, you first. What do I call Carl Uggs? Because it's short for ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Isn't it? Well, he didn't know that, but it is. Yeah. Not I that thought... it is ugly, but it's just what I call you, don't I? <laughs> it's a term of endearment, okay. man. Uggs, Mr. B. What else do I call you? A lot of things, but you can't really say them on telly. No, we'll get no, I can't. Trouble for it. <laughs> no, I've got other ones, I, I just can't think. No, I'm not really a nickname person, are we? And what do you call me? Mrs. B. B. Yeah. Anything <laughs> else? That's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But he's the only person who never calls me out. You never ever call me out, do no, you? never. Ever, ever. Which I find weird, but he doesn't. Old school, that's why. Oh, I've got another nickname. For you? Is that what you call me? What? What my sisters call me? Pledge. Pledge, yeah. yeah. From Nelly Pledge. I think she was, a, don't know, summit in the olden days in the 60s, I think, 50s and 60s. I don't know if she'd done a lot of housekeeping or like a cooking thing or something. I don't know. Sure it was. Nelly Pledge, yeah. So I get called Pledge. Dunno. My sisters call me Pledge. Right. John Geezer, do you have any siblings or children? That's your brothers and sisters. Right. Or any kids? I've got no kids. I've got a brother and a sister. Yeah. That's it. I've got two children, a boy and a girl. Tyler, who's 27, I know. Named after Stephen Taller of Aerosmith. Poor kid. And my daughter Meredith. Named after the poet. Sounds a bit better, doesn't it? Called George Meredith. So there you go. And sisters? Yes, and I've got three sisters, two brothers, and I'm the youngest of six children. Big family. Oh, no. Yes, so and my big, big sister is 60... 66? Bloody hell. Yeah, 66. Yeah, so six of us, four girls, two boys. Ready for the next one? Yeah, I am. Right, never stop. How do we cope with the really cold weather? Turn the eating up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm presuming it's a man, he said he didn't know to put the eating on and waste the gas, but... I'm not, I'm the same, I'd, I'd be happy to have not had the gas on and sitting in a woolly jumper on a coat and my hat on. What, when you're in bed? Yeah. God, you're doing your old or days, man. No, I do nothing for no central eating, growing <laughs> up as a kid, man, until yeah. we got to God knows what age. Nah, I ain't doing cold, it don't happen. I don't like cold either. Well then, Yeah. so, no. Right, that's nearly all of them. Yeah, it's a short yeah. one. Yeah, I did say. We've only got eight questions, yeah. nine, ten, maybe. Right, and then Colin Wishbone, who is our oldest subscriber. Colin is nearly 85. I think he said he was 85 in June. But I might be wrong, I'm sure it was. And his wife was 79 last month, I think. Yeah, and they want to know where our opening scenes are shot and they also wanted to thank us for making our videos over the last 18 months and to carry on doing what we're doing and they will be watching so opening shots you answer that one because he can't remember right the very very beginning is so i've got peanuts in my mouth <laughs> i've been eating peanuts and i keep finding them bits of peanut Right, the very, very beginning when the drone's flying over is Exmoor, isn't it? Yes. And if you look closely, you can see the Exmoor ponies, can't you? Yeah, fly over the ponies and then the motorhome. And then over the motorhome, yeah. 
And that's Countess Berry Hill, isn't yes. it? That's where we see the Pyrenees. Yeah. Um, the one we go to a lot, we love it yeah. up there, don't we? Yeah. And then you and Nook, that is the same sort of area, but it's walking to the lighthouse, yeah. isn't it? Long walk. And down there was hill. a little footpath that you could turn off, yeah. and we just had a quick look, didn't we? Yeah. That was there. And then me having my cup of tea is at Wast Water. And then it's just the photo bit at the end, isn't it? Yeah. And that is Wast Water as well. So Exmoor and Wast Water. Ain't it? It is. Yeah. So that's it then for this one. Short and sweet. Yep. So have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy the bank holiday. Looks like it's going to be dry as well. It is warming up. Yeah, so we're going to take Nook out for nice walking a bit, aren't we? walk around the fields. Yeah, yeah, because it's nice around there, isn't it? Yes. So, two more Scotty videos left to come up, and hopefully we're back on the road next week, aren't we? Fingers crossed. Yeah, but not for long, because it's my daughter's birthday at yeah. the end of the month. And the house so. sale should be going for it any time, innit? We are. Yeah, I know. Dragging yeah, on, that is. Right, so, see you later. Go on, then. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>